Well, one aspect of this natural disaster that has a lot of health professionals concerned, the often hidden toll that stress and dislocation and loss can have on our mental health. For more on that, here's NBC5's John Hawks. Experts in the mental health field are urging Vermonters that are dealing with the impact of recent flooding to not ignore their mental health. Joshua Morgenstein is a psychologist who focuses on disaster and says that events have short and long-term mental health effects, like effects on sleep or feeling unsafe. We often think about things like psychological disorders, like post-traumatic stress disorder. Um, and uh, it's important to think about mental health disorders because they're significant, they can have um, very long-term impact on people's well-being, their physical health as well. Experts say people can engage in health risk behaviors, things like increasing the use of alcohol, tobacco, and prescription medications, and even interpersonal violence and family conflict after disaster events. As a way usually of coping with difficult emotions. People can lose a community connection and the feeling of safety, but experts say there are a few things that can improve people's ability to function after natural disasters, like rest, keeping a routine, and practicing calming exercises. Also, increasing the feeling of safety and calming, a sense that you're able to do things even in overwhelming circumstances, social connectedness, and hope. This have been collectively referred to as um, psychological first aid, uh, which is really a framework for approaching interventions that, again, foster resilience um, and, and improve functioning during disasters. Another common stressor, how are children reacting? Kids will show their distress in other ways than adults. Older kids may become aggressive or socially isolate. Parents may register these actions as misbehavior. But Morgenstein says parents often assume children's worries are the same as adults. But more than likely, they're not. He advises parents to use simple, plain language and reassurances. And there's an easy way to not add to what children are worried about. We don't want to be answering questions children haven't asked because we may be actually adding to their burden of distress. Fortunately, there is a positive that can be taken during tragic events. That dealing with stressful or difficult events in one's life can also bring a sense of, um, you know, resilience and even growth. Some people, after um, dealing with extremely stressful events, will feel more capable. State officials are also reminding Vermonters the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline is available at all times by calling 988. In White River Junction, John Hawks, NBC5 News.